Hi everyone, my name is Kali P. Courtright and I am a junior at Babson, part of the class of 2023. And I'm going to teach you a little bit today about Bloomberg and using it to find the components of WAC. WAC stands for Weighted Average Cost of Capital and it's the discount rate that takes into account the cost of debt and the cost of equity for a company, as well as the tax yield effects of interest and the capital structure. Um, therefore, it's used as the cost of capital in financial models that find a company's present value for all capital providers, not just equity holders. So I'll show you how to do this. Um, the first thing you have to do is go um, to the Cutler Center and go to a Bloomberg terminal. You'll know it's a Bloomberg terminal because it has a colored type keyboard um, and it'll have this icon here. So if it doesn't have that icon, it might not be a terminal. Um, click on that icon to get started. So when you click on it, it'll launch Bloomberg. It might take a second to load, especially if it's your first time using it. And Bloomberg is a financial software that analysts use to find real-time data on a company. Um, it's often used to screen for, value, and compare companies. So in this tutorial, we're going to use it to find the components of WAC. It just takes a second to load. So now that we're in Bloomberg, you're either going to hit enter or go to get started. So I just did that. And then if you have a login, just log in here. If you do not have a login, then you can just hit this create new login button right here. And it'll take you through the steps. So I've logged in, it takes a second to load again. Okay, and a few tabs are going to open. This happens every time you open Bloomberg. Um, you wanna go to the one that says new tab on the bottom. So once they all load and I pull that up, All right, so this is the tab that we're gonna be using. So this in the top here where my cursor is, this is the search bar. We can use this to search for a company or for a function that we want to use. So in this example, we'll be using Apple. So you can either type in the full name Apple or it's ticker as I've done here. Then it'll load with the company. You can just click on the company to select it. Now that we're in Apple, you can see that it's in the top left corner of the window here. This shows that everything we search will be in terms of Apple. So now we can go in and use our functions. I just made it bigger on the screen. So now that we're searching within Apple, I can use the function. There's actually a WAC function, so that's what I'm doing first. This is the easiest way to get a WAC for a company. It pulls up everything related to the WAC, including um, the equity, the weight of the equity, the cost of the equity, the weight of the debt and the cost of the debt, and then preferred equity as well to get you to the overall WAC. It also has information like market cap, short-term debt, long-term debt, and preferred equity, uh, and just so you can get the different weights. Some professors, however, might require you to find the cost of equity using different Bloomberg functions. So we use the CAPM, standing for the Capital Asset Pricing Model, to find the, the cost of equity. So I'm gonna be using those components. The first component is beta. So there's a function for beta in Bloomberg as well. So I'll just type beta in this search bar. Again, it'll be in terms of Apple because Apple's still on the top left of the screen. This graph shows how Bloomberg calculated the beta. And then over here, I'll move this screen over so you can see it. Over here, we have our raw beta and our adjusted beta. So this shows what um, the beta is for Bloomberg um, for Apple. So that's how you find that portion. And then you also need the market risk premium and the risk-free rate. Um, so these are different. Uh, kind of depending on how you want to do your analysis. But one way that the risk free rate is usually done is by using a 10 or 30 year US Treasury bond. So I just searched up US Treasury bond and it'll give us the prices here. For the market risk premium, um, often companies or professors will have standard market risk premiums to use. But if you want to use Bloomberg's, you can just search market risk premium like I just did. Click on this. It'll give you a big explanation of what it is and then also give you Bloomberg's estimate. It happens to be, um, sorry, not that number. It happens to be 5.4%. Next, we're looking to find the cost of debt. So we'll go back to the search bar and hit SECF and go. This will take us to the security finder. First thing we want to do is filter it from all securities to just fixed income securities. So change this drop down. 
Um, and then we still have over 10,000 results. So we're gonna filter it even further. So if you go to the name box and type in Apple Inc, this will filter it to just Apple Securities. And then you can also uh, filter the ticker to just be Apple's ticker. And this brings us down to just 69 results. From here, you can export it, find the weighted average to find the cost of debt. To find the weight of debt and the weight of equity, the easiest way is to just use the WAC function that we used earlier. So I'll show you that again. From here, we can see the market cap, the amount of debt, and they give us our weight. But if you want to do it a different way, you can also use the function FA. This stands for financial analysis. It has a lot of different information and ratios. Um, so you can see we have all these tabs here. Click on nine or the custom tab. Um, and from here, you can add different things. They're already here for me because I added them earlier for this tutorial, but to add the market cap and the short and long-term debt, you just go to this enter field box here and then um, add two things, current market cap, should show up here once you start typing it. And then the second thing you're gonna add is short and long-term debt. So again, it's just showing up twice for me now because I've already added it, but for you, it'll only show up once. Okay, so once these are added, you can see the current amounts. Definitely make sure to use the current ones and you can just divide those to find the weights. And when you do those calculations, you'll get the same weight as you got on the WAC tab. The next thing we have to find is the tax rate. So we're still on the financial analysis tab and we just go to ratios and then the effective tax rate, make sure to use the current year. Uh, that's what we'll use for the effective tax rate in the WAC function. Those are all of the things you need to find the weighted average cost of capital. So just to check, uh, if we do the WAC function again, we get these same numbers. The only difference would be the cost of equity is a little different because they likely use a different market risk premium or risk-free rate. But everything else is the same. So these are a few different ways to find the weighted average cost of capital using Bloomberg. Thank you for listening.